It's good evening, everyone. Uh, I think I'm very proud. To, if you all have watched the TikTok CEO yeah. that he's spoken, he's actually a Singaporean. Uh, I'm not sure whether the, his parents from China or overseas or, or foreigners, but I'm so proud that uh, the way he speaks, he's very composed. I'll call it a scorer. He's very systematic in the approach. Um, very calm and very organized. I'm talking about scorer. Uh, Gavin, can you type the, the word scorer? Top scorer, the top scorer, okay? All right, so um, the way he speaks is very systematic and he's very calm. And the O stands for he's very organized he's in his train of thoughts. And R will be very rigorous, okay? And the most important thing, the rigorous make it the whole entire speech to be very excellent. To seems like it's like no floor, well done. And the last R is that really he's, um, he used the right technique to answer the questions. They say, Uncle Rima, hey, that, that's him. Why are you telling me all these things that about scorer, about him? Ladies and gentlemen, that's where we come in for your SBQ and SRQ and the structure, the way you talk to me, the way you write, the way you present, the way you communicate, the way you negotiate, the way you do the whole entire structures. These are your math, your science, your English, your Chinese, your whatever subject. There is a systematic, systematic approach. Wang Kang, I'm so sorry. I think I received your essay yesterday, right? Was it yesterday? Sorry, I can't hear you. Um, yeah. What time was it? Yesterday um, was Saturday, yeah. No, no, no. I forgot. Don't, don't I'm not blaming you, okay? Because when you sent to me, I was in the, my police uh, training for the whole day. And guess what? The whole training was talking about answering and questioning techniques. How to question um, suspect, you know, uh, like, you know, uh, why are you here? At this hour, why are you so um, loitering around at this place and that kind of questions? So it sparked off me with a few questions. Hopefully, I'm tidying up to help all my students to use the technique of how to study and how questioning techniques. So I'm so sorry when you said to me, in my, it was a whole day. I was doing role play in the police stations about uh, telling lies and detecting me, <laughs> all these things. So it's like, hey, it seems like the SBQ and SRQ question. So sorry, it was pretty late. And at night, I was celebrating my son's birthday. And then today, my wife's birthday. So, and this morning, I was also doing my police duty the whole day because uh, Yishun Chongpang has just, if you watch the news, we are opening up, okay, diversities. And this is talk, talking about globalization. You have me ask, Uncle Raymond, okay, are you go and do duty and tell me for what? It's all related. You see, whatever I talk, I don't want to talk nonsense and not related. And if I'm talking nonsense, not related, I'll tell you, okay, but this is related. So this morning I was doing my duty in this um in the uh, multi-purpose hall. Okay. So they got LTA, they got NEA. Then you ask me, okay. Uh yeah, Tian Xiang Jing Lila. Sorry. Cause we may kind of Tian Xiang the Nian. Or put it out the Lu Shan Zen Mu Zhang the Duo in Jing. This is kind of the Tofa. One Tao Yen and Jack Tofa. In way one tofa. We must stop doing that. <laughs> okay. So um the next thing I just want to share, um, why are we in integrating uh, Because whatever you study is all related. Later, I'll show you uh, uh, one kind of like usefulness and reliability. So let's go through. Raymond, I've not go through your essay, right? The two? Mm, yeah. Uh, uh, let me go through one count first, okay? Don't mind because not your essay. One count, I'm so sorry. Uh, just to share with you, I got your essay just only. Okay, I, I, I came back. I was so tired. And uh, the next thing is that, you know what? I went to my in-laws place to celebrate my, my, my wife's birthday. And guess what? It was came out so tired. I just lay down and play game. I literally play game. So sorry. Uh. I, I'm very honest to you. I, I just too tired to do anything. But at least I do something like that. Okay, one count. I, I, at least I face you. Uh. Okay. Eh? I cannot wear it. It's my... Okay, I, I like to commence before I mark, I will, I will go through this paper with you. So starting from next month onwards, uh, there will be a lot of exam coming and please prepare, get to know, tell your parents that uh, in May and June, there will be a lot of uh, possible face-to-face. -face. Please do not tell me you cannot make it because the one you're coming to my class face-to-face, -face, uh, which is definitely very useful, trust me. Uh, I already had the guinea pigs tested last year already. Okay, that is about, about seven or eight of the SS students. And guess what? Out of eight, about half of them, 50%, not bad. Huh? 
who make it to, uh, in fact, all make it, uh, half of them to JC and half of them to Poly. Okay. Uh, that doesn't mean contribute to a grid at one count. That doesn't mean contribute to SS or uh, the subject. It's everything. So this is your homework, right? So, yep. Okay, you realize using blue, like last time using black ink. Uh. Okay, Tian Xiang, are you there? Can you answer? Say hi to me, please. Hi, Tian Xiang. Uh, hi. Hi. Why, why are you so, so, so shy? Can I see your face now? Which class were you in with, with me last time? May I ask? Were you in my class be previously before? Uh, English. Uh, which one? Last year? Uh, I do not remember. Uh, set one or set two? You are now set three, right? Correct me, Pamela. Uh, set one. You are now set one? No. You are now set one? Sorry, you're not set three or set four? Set three. Set three, huh? Oh, okay. So you don't worry. The topic we are covering is a, a bit of uh, issue one and uh, um, set four one. Huh? So um, don't worry about it. Just listen. But anyway, the skill you need to know. Lah. So how well do you do for your SS? Uh, you can just send a message to me now. Are you doing SRQ and SPQ, Tian Xiang? I don't think you're doing SRQ, by the way. Yeah, which school again? Sorry. Oh, Nan Huang. Nan Hua, okay, thanks. All right. So, uh, Wang Kang, I will mark this paper, okay? I proved to you, uh, I did face and do something <laughs> off. It's just that I haven't marked the paper yet, okay? So, give me some, some time. Uh. I look through it, definitely can pass. Uh. Okay, see, you realize this is black and that is blue. Uh. You see the difference? Uh? This is black ink, right? Correct? Uh? Right? Uh? Then you see the blue ink. Is this blue? Correct me, is this blue? This blue, just how the this below is black, right? Ah, now you understand, huh? So up to you. This paper, okay, social study will be marked locally, yeah. But imagine this paper is your English paper is going to send to Cambridge and it's scan. Which one do you think is more vibrant, more better, the color, more enticing, more wow? Okay. Probably like black. Uh, really? Seriously, yeah. Oh, what's that? I, I Don't be racist. That. Racist, ah. yeah, I'm racist. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. When you switch off the light, the blacks cannot see. If you use your teeth and smile. So, Tia Ying, do you think this one A better or B? Come. B. B, yeah. You say B, yeah. Huh? Okay, fine. But maybe I'm an old man. Ah. I prefer the A. Okay, never mind. No, no, no. Don't write a wrong answer. Okay, Tian Xiang, uh, just relax today. Uh, if you cannot follow us, uh, very normal uh, because uh, we have been going through for a few lessons. But stop me if you are not sure. Don't worry. Don't be shy. Say, Uncle, I don't understand this. Don't worry. I will explain to you. Okay. So next, this one here. Which question are you asking, uh, uh, Wang Kang? This question, is it? Uh, the last two. This one. Uh, how far do you think? How far, right? Do you think that we agree and disagree? Uh, this is confirmed agree and disagree. Not comparison. Uh. Please do not confuse uh, Tian Xiang. Do not confuse because I think your set three will be doing this. Uh, how far, how surprised are you surprised? Um, do you um, short or not short? Something like that. Uh, um, is it true or not true? So when you say agree or not agree, uh, it's usually not comparison. You must have one paragraph agree and not agree. Okay? Get it? And this is six months. Huh? You realize surprise questions huh? It's really like, you know, um, I mentioned uh, it's a bit of usefulness and reliability. Seven marks. You must know the way the limited limitations of the reliability. What did your teacher tell you, Wang Kang? Have you go through the paper already, right, I believe? Oh, uh, yeah. She said the last question is like a hybrid question. It's like yes. comparison. That's not also right about the surprise. Yes. The, the comparison is not really comparison has in uh, 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 similar and different. Huh? Okay, the comparison is not similar and different. Let, let me explain to you the, my, my slide and my slide. Okay, what else? Okay, let's talk about three first. What did your teacher say? Uh, she said it's not as comparison or so. No, oh, it's comparison. Com no, you see, the comparison is very general, ge generic. No, you need me by ma. It's definitely compare. You agree and not agree. Is it compare? Correct. Right, uh? Agree? So imagine one kind next time you marry, uh, you ask your husband, hey, do you agree this blue shirt is nicer or no? 
Do you think this blue dress is nice or this red dress? It's comparing, right? Right, it's also comparing. But will you agree? Say your husband say, no, I think I agree the red one is a bit nicer to you if you are wearing for a wedding ground, or wearing dinner, sorry. And the blue one, maybe you're going for um, a normal casual, you know, something like that. You get me now? So, okay, it's not wrong that your teacher say comparison, but study saucy, if you say how far and this agree, uh, usually it's not just um, comparison alone that easy. Uh. This one definitely is hybrid, yes. Okay, usefulness and reliability. I told you, right? And also comparison. Okay, what else? Before I go on to my explanation. No more. No more, okay. So have you done the question now, by the way? Yes. So did you get back your paper now, by the way? Oh, no, it's just still marking. Okay, fine. Wait, give me a minute. Huh? Ah, all right, see this. Is it here? Okay, here we go. Okay, how reliable in this source evidence and then study the source belief, trust. Are you surprised by what this source says? Okay, all this is really uh two two way traffic. Okay, now uh give me a minute. I'm gonna pull up the file. I think I, I did not pull up this one. Give me a minute. Uh where is my comparison study session? So um, can I write like story for essay? Huh? Who is that? Uh, me like like. Can like you your mention question? your name? Sorry, uh, because I got three screen. Uh. Ah. so I I'm not looking at the screen that with all your faces. I'm looking at my laptop now to pull out a file for, uh, Wang Kang to to talk. In fact, to all of you lah. Uh, give me a minute lah. Uh. Uh, oh. yes. Can, can you carry on? Uh, sorry. Uh. Oh, like, uh, uh, like I mean, can, can you write story for the the S the SS the SRQ thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the, 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 in your opinion, that one like can you write our personal experience? No. Huh? Oh. oh. No, no. Then, then write sorry or what? No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. Well, I, I will answer your question. Okay, I will answer your questions. Okay. This slide has been using, Wang Kang has been using for a while with this, okay? So, where I say th this question here, okay? Uh, Tian Xiang, I'm not sure you all have been studying useful, but anyway, anyway so no, no worry, you're going to use it, right? Okay? So, we're talking about this here, okay? You see, sometimes they will be more useful. Relevance. Take note, lah. Children, write down, oh, please. You might see all these words. Now we are talking about evaluating of usefulness, ah. <laughs> what is EYA? End of year exam. Ah, oh, sorry. Is it uh, end year? Uh, wait, what is EYS? Correct. Huh? Something I forgot. Sorry, sorry. Evaluate your answer. Or well, answer your own. Uh, A A T Y and uh, answer your. Evaluate your answer, if I'm not mistaken. Evaluate your answer, yeah. Sorry, I really forgot. Sorry, it should be asked. Uh, evaluate your answer. Okay. Uh, hello. Uh, Wang Kang? Get it? Okay, I move on. Uh. Tell me. Uh. Okay, so this is one. Paragraph one, usefulness and limitation. Content reliability. Then here, look at this. This is the one I'm not sure your teacher has shared with you. Usefulness state, how you source is useful. So there's a gap in content and then reliability check, which is already comparing. Uh, understand? One count. Okay, explain line between the reliability and usefulness. Okay, so let's say here, usefulness, it states. Never mind, I will repeat the next time again, but now just to give you a quick review. It seems you're fresh from your school that they told you this, so the same. State how source is useful, info and code, this is standard. Then you do cross-reference, you see? to support it, to CK, to check, to show missing content. Then look here. There is a positive side, negative side. Get it? Does it seem, seem consider comparison, right? So the comparison, your teacher says, I'm sorry, maybe it's not say very clear to me. Uh -huh. Then I got one question. Source, uh, source A and B are different. Do you agree or not? Correct. Uh, this is considered a comparison skill. Source B and C are are similar. This is also can consider similar. You must say one paragraph similar and one paragraph difference, and then there is a tone and, and purpose. And if it's a comparison question, do you agree that both source A and B are different? And if it's a seven marks, then one mark, very stupid, I don't ask me why. Then one mark you have to give your oh, the tone is different from A, 
compare to tones B because tone A is a positive tone, tone, tone B is a negative tone. Yeah, something like that. Okay, so you see? So you, you have to do this. It's not just comparison. No. You have to dig out like, the things, okay? Then you look at that. What kind? Yeah. Gavin, Gavin and Raymond and Jia Ying, it's not, I'm not interested not to call your name. Huh? I know the three of you are paying attention. I'm not saying maybe you're not paying attention huh? because I'm going to answer your question for that. Huh? It's a very relevant mm -hmm. and good question. It's a very relevant and good question. Seriously, I'm not sarcastic. If I'm sarcastic, I will tell you right to your face to all of you. Huh? So it's a good question. No hey, hold on. Huh? Hold on, hold on. No, I'm faceless. You're faceless. <laughs> yeah. Okay, one can meet my home. No, no, you have to get it clear. No, you don't knock your head. Yes, yes, yes. Then later you confuse. No, 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 no. Seriously, one can please, please don't joke. Don't joke. All of you don't joke, please. I'm very serious. This one I'm very, very serious because I've been seeing it for year in, year out, for 10 over years. I understand, I understand. After two, three months later, you forget. Not say you forget, like, okay, you miss out. Then you confuse because you don't practice it. Hey, shucks, man, Uncle Raymond. Hey, this, then you, you, you remember. Please do not interrupt me for now. Uh, so give me, because I, if I lost my train of thought, that's it. Don't mind, uh, don't interrupt. You want to hold on to your question first or uh, later. So one card, let, let me address this. Very important. So you say, if you are asking for, uh, do you trust or not trust? Straight away, you are right. Your teacher is right to say compare. But please, can you be more specific? Uh, what kind of comparison are we talking about? Okay, remember the, the source that we did about the Philippines and China, that one. Uh, what kind of comparison? Is it comparing your military skill? Uh, my or relationship diplomatics or the superpower in terms of the country sizes. You get me now. So when you say that question just now, are you um you just give me the list of questions? So remember, please, okay, please pay, put your ears, put other things aside. When you do usefulness, it's very important. All sources are useful. Agree? One kind I told you before. Like if I tell you Uncle Raymond is a game. So you must know whether source A tell you is Uncle Raymond is a gift due to what? Uncle Raymond says it's a gift due to what? Source B, source C, source D, source D. That's the reason why I would like to want to have one a face to face with all of you to do a court case. Really. To show you the evidence because in Zoom, pretty hard to do it. You know why not? Because on, in a court case, there is a, 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 like a show to talk about tonalities and, and purpose. Just like yesterday, I cannot reveal too much. Huh? Just like yesterday, we were told to go out, two of us, me and the other guy, and he's a lawyer. So we are supposed to come up a story why we go for dinner at night. Uh, okay, go for dinner at night. So let's say Gavin and I, uh, we, we, we talk. Uh. So Gavin, we go to a breakout room. Hey, Gavin, later you say we go dinner at uh, Harbourfront. Okay, Harbourfront. Then you, you say, okay, uh, then we have Western food. They say, no, uh, maybe McDonald's. Okay, no, McDonald's. Okay, then after that, we go, uh, uh, Gavin will go in the room. Uh, Raymond will ask, what do you have uh, lunch with Uncle Raymond? Then Gavin forgot. Oh, McDonald. Okay. Then after that, Gavin come out already. Uncle Raymond go in. Then Jai, um, I believe you have lunch with Gavin. Uh, where do you go? Uh, you see, you, you've rephrased the question already. All right, where do you go? Oh, I went to Ting Tai Fung. Huh? We go for lunch. They, yes, both of us go to eat. But one of them say McDonald. <laughs> they say in iPhone is put to Yama. Ah, then so oh, then Gavin said he took a MRT down uh, to Harbor Front. Then Uncle Raymond took a grab. So he said, Oh, we, we took a uh, private uh, public transport. Let's say public transport. Uh, okay, bus. He took bus, I took MRT, public transport, mail to one car. You ask, how do you go 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 there? So if, if you answer, say uh, we took public transport, no, nothing wrong, right? One car, all right, huh? But uh, main man, you may ask, what kind of traffic transport you took? So Gavin will say, oh, I took a bus. Then Tian Xiang will say, what, uh, uncle, you go there by public transport. May I know what kind of transport you're taking? Oh, I took a train. I see. You know what I mean? So the questioning technique is nothing wrong. It's already comparing. Okay, i comparing, right? You can MRT, you can bus, you can take a bus. You can transport, right? But what kind of transport? 我吃啊,对啊,我吃,一个是讲McDonald,一个是讲这个吗? Ah, yes, yes, I tell you, uh, I, I was being arrow yesterday, uh, my, 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 my senior officer said, okay, Raymond, go out, uh, 
Okay, so with the, the lawyer, the lawyer volunteered to do, uh, so we were outside talking, cooking up this story. Uh. And you'll say, uh, being a, to study law is not easy. Okay, why? And it's actually, he's from uh, ACS boy. Uh. So he's an IP student all the way. So yeah, I tell you, Jia Ying, where got such thing every school is a good school? Nonsense. Uh. Sorry, I'm not saying this because school is lousy or Wang Kang or Gavin. Uh. You'll be, every school is unique, correct? Uh. The uniqueness. It's just like the TikTok CEO went to the Congress and talked. Yeah. I'm so proud of him. No, seriously. I'm telling you, uh, it's no point. Yeah, in, you, you get A1 now. I give you social study about A1. Uh, oh, very good. The way you write, super solid. But the moment you go out and talk to people, uh, uh, mm, I think uh, you're not calm. Yeah, in. You, know I mean, uh? you go and watch the TikTok, the CEO for CNN, uh, CNN News. Uh, you will understand the way he talked. I'm so proud of the teachers. Uh, who trained him and taught him well in primary school, secondary school, in Hua Chong, all the way. And the school that he attended in Britain. And I always, I, I'm not against it. I'm sorry, I just did, um, um, a bit um, out of, uh, the, uh, the, uh, um, derail a bit uh, out of the contents. Uh. You see, the way he attended the British University and the American's MBA master degree, uh, it's really different. Uh. So I really urge all of you, if you can, uh, attend the British University better because it's a structure. Raymond, you might say, uh, are you sure no? I might want to go US. Fine, then you become a very, um, sorry, uh, I don't say too much on that. Okay, I still encourage my student to go to British or at least an Australian university. That is my choice. But if you think that, oh, my parents are in USA, it's fine, what? I, I reserve my comments. Uh, huh? uh, Wang Kang, in fact, I'm actually talking about usefulness and reliability. You see? You see? <laughs> Have you seen the real life of things, Yang? Don't mind. So, so are you able to trust me to say the British university is much better or the American university? Uh, why the British university? Because the proper, the, the, the university, uh, honestly, uh, British history has been more than thousands of years. Correct? Uh, agree? Uh, one um, sorry, uh, Gavin, how long is American history? Before I drink my Aunt Lu, see? Yeah. <laughs> how long? Don't let me peel out. Uh. 300. Hmm? 300 ah? Uh? Around 300. Very easy to remember Jia Ying and Mei Mei and Tian Xiang. The first president of the United States of America is George Washington Machine. I mean, sorry, George Washington. I stay on my tongue lah. Okay lah. George Washington, my cousin. Okay? He was the first president of the United States in 1717. You should count. Hello, excuse me. American history, 300. British, 1,000 years. You tell me, uh, Wang Kang. Comparison, no? <laughs> then you just say, oh, uncle, like, uncle, this is also good. No. What is the point you compare things that you're not going to use in real life? Do not. And you go and watch the TikTok. He really compare those things. How do TikTok go into my phone? Hey, hello. I really want to say the F word. <laughs> Kevin, you dumb. Ah. Of course, through your Wi-Fi. Ah. Then through what? Through my nose. Ah. <laughs> Raven, through not. Then through Wi-Fi. Then through my ass. Sorry, ah, I'm a bit vulgar here. I cannot take it. I was watching the TikTok the whole night yesterday. Sorry, I walk out. Now you know why I did not mark the paper. I'm so sorry. But when receiving, I suppose to be very excited. But I cannot take it. Now the way they ask, um, uh, just answer me yes or no. Before you see, he's very smart. This is where he uses his usefulness and reliability. Go and watch. You will understand it, man. I think the teacher, and by the way, Hua Chong do SS. Huh? Okay, by the way, Hua Chong do SS paper. Huh? I'm not going to give you the paper that I have with my Hua Chong students yet. Huh? But I will show you uh, the way they answer is whoa, it's really whoa, that kind of things. Okay. So Wang Kam, thanks for sharing. Please, if you don't have any papers to share with me and any tops, hey, come bring on, man. Bring on. Seriously. Okay. I may not be 100 percent correct. Huh? I have to be fair to you. Huh? Okay, I may deviate or something like that. Huh? I may not be, I'm not perfect. Huh? I'm not saying all, all my things are 100 percent correct. I may make mistakes as well. Like just now you asked me a very good question. EYA stand for what? I know it's uh, a, um, uh, EY is end of year exam. It's EYE is end of year exam, something like that, okay? So attend, if you attend the court, you will understand. Objection, your honors. By the way, my client, Tian Xiang, did not do this. They say, objection, your honor, I disagree. I think it's out of the context. It's the, the, the evidence is given is not useful here. May I suggest that he re looks into this? That, that's the way, man. So what, Jiaying, you got anyone, everything, but you go out, you cannot talk and prevent, pre, pre, prevent, and pre, present, 
present your case. Hey, imagine Jia Ying, you're the CEO of the company, and say, wow, it's good. It's the CEO from where did it come from? So bad, they don't talk about it. You know what I mean? Now? I can tell you, uh, last yesterday, 23rd of March, uh, the world has looked at Singapore differently. The world has seen Singapore leader differently. The world has seen Singapore, the education differently. A lot of people say Singapore is education strength. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the time to see why all these skills that you're using is going to be benefits for your future. Definitely benefit for your future. Why? Very simple. This guy represents Singapore as an officer. Guys, you are, if you are going to army or police officer, trust me. And this morning, I talked to a 37 years old officer. And he told me, uh, I was telling him, oh, I'm teaching SS, I'm teaching this social study, I'm medicine, many shit. One guy, you know, wow, when I was in secondary school, I don't realize CPA is so useful. Until now, I want to buy a house. I know how good is CPA. I think the government is doing good things about talking about CPF, skill futures, baby bonus in the social study context. Because we feel that the previous generation lack of all these skills to prepare them in the real world. Hey, hello, brother. You know I mean? A1 for Amex, Emacs, uh, A1 for chemistry, physics, bio. You go out, you go and talk to the Loki Plata person or the, 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 the retail um, Takashimaya. You know how my physics tell me uh, the, uh, the weather is this uh, and the Amex called DYDX, I tell you, um, sir, you want your size to be big or small? Uh, you want XL or L? Because based on your size, it seems like to be XXXXL. Pretty big size for you. <laughs> Nimi is laughing. Okay, Nimi, don't get angry. Uh, Raymond will go, sorry, I think small is too small. You should be SSSS. Oh my goodness. Raymond will be wearing bikini. <laughs> Just kidding, right, guys? Okay. So now you understand there is a cross referencing of checking. Just like I told you, I prefer British and Australia than American. Why? Why do you think so? Because Wang Kang. You have to understand all these British universities, more or less, they have a really a few things called systematic, systematic approach. They have a set of in and out every year, different questionnaire. They got a bank, B-A-N-K, B-A-N-K, a bank of questionnaire prepared. Okay, they have all the things, especially if you want to study histories and, and things. Okay, if you talk about business, you realize uh, the TikTok uh, CEO study uh, MBA in the Harvard. Uh, I have to agree, uh, the American University has, has one of the best business uh, degree. Uh, because they are ready. Gavin, can you type the word SLY? <laughs> this is the last part I want to share with you, Wong Kang. Get it? Okay, I hope you understand. I hope I convince you. Okay, I connect you, not you and me. Uh, I don't want. I connect you to this question here. Yeah, yeah, you see, Mian you can't tell you, connect you can't. That's a uncle, I don't want to connect to one. No, no, I want to connect to Gavin. Okay. <laughs> oh, what? Gavin. I think you have better choice. Huh? Okay. <laughs> okay, one can joke, one can you get it. So I want to convince you and connect, connect these two things to see to prove to you that co comparison skills is really important because itself makes sense. Agree or not? What kind of, sorry, uh, did your teacher share with you all this or just tell you verbally only, or with pictures like this? Back to you. Um, she showed us slides of the steps and she showed us some sample paragraph. Oh, that's yeah. good. That is still good. Just talk without showing anything. Right? But did he show you this kind of format like that? Uh, not really. Not really. Yeah. So now you get a, a picture speaks a thousand words. You can see, right? Can, uh? can I move on to my, my, my lesson now? Okay, do, do the questions and send it to Uncle Raymond. All right, if you can, I don't mind. That's your school, but send it to Uncle Raymond and I, I may have a second view. Okay, or maybe once you've done the question already, uh, one come. then you can pass, to, you can, of course, take a picture and send it to me. I can, I can be a second marker. Okay, then you can compare. I tell you that will be good. Seriously, that will be really very, very helpful to you. Okay. So um, Raymond, uh, thanks to your homework. So I need therefore to share the homework with the rest of the class. So will you mind this? How's useful in sources? Sorry, uh, Tian Xiang, because the questions here you might be feel uh oh, how come for this question? Because this was the past previous few weeks' homework uh, that he never hand in. 
Ah, so now he's doing it. Then he will say, Uncle Raymond, not too hard. I had it two weeks ago. It's you are the one who never can show to the rest of the classmate. Back to you, sir. Me, you. Ah, okay. So Woman, is wait, wait, sorry. We never go through, huh? Confirm, huh? No, huh? Wait, didn't we go through this? I'm not sure. I can't remember. Wait. You got one day, you didn't come, right? Uh, Gavin, you may go through this one. Wang Kang, any idea? Mian Mian? I think okay. I've seen it before. Huh? I think I've seen it before. Okay, let's go a quick one. Go through a quick one. Raymond, let's go. Okay, Saucy is useful in showing that territorial disputes over the Spratly Islands would not be resolved. This can be seen from Source E, where it states that 1999 has seen a marked increase in military cooperation between the U.S. and the Philippines. This suggests that the Philippines have uh, has a large number of military collaborations with the U.S. in order to boost its military strength and power in the Spratly Islands. Ah, uh, yeah, Furthermore, confirm, uh, Gavin, confirm, went through because of this word has. Remember? Uh, yeah, I remember the word has and have. Where Philippines is a singular, you put half or plural, correct? Let's go. Saucy. Saucy also states that we need this alliance in order to protect our national interests. This implies that the Philippines is putting in military efforts to compete over the territories of the Spratly Islands. Hence, there will continue to be negotiations or even competitions for the Spratly Islands. Thus, Saucy is useful in showing that territorial disputes over the Spratly Islands will not be resolved. I do remember to say the second thing is that you under you use the word hands and task. So these are all the 310 magic words that I already given to you. Use it for your SS, use it for your history, your science, your math, your literature, your English paper one and two, whatever, or even when you talk to your examiner. Uh, what? How can you use that for math? Uh, Raymond, well done. You think, I think you are like very similar to the TikTok CEO when you talk to the Congress. How can we use it for math? Hence, one plus one equal two. Task. This is the what answer. Who can you math? Problem sound you ma? Oh, like, like, like the question that you asked to explain why something. Correct. Happened. Yes, ma'am. You are absolutely right. Well, today you are good, man. Yes. Of course, in normal multiple choice, you can't. But when you explain, you have to use these words, right? Ah, so when you use this, the teachers, I tell you, we love it, no? I'm telling you, we loving it like McDonald's. Seriously. Just like some. Neither not you or anyone, neither uh, Why are you late? Mommy, I was late because I saw an old lady cross the road who nobody helped. So uh, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I, I realized that it was very hard for her to cross the road. Uh, therefore, I decided to go and help her. Wow, Seriously. Trust me. The power of words. Now you understand, uh, the TikTok, this CEO, uh, Gavin, you agree now? Uh, he must be the one talk in maths and science, uh, correct now, uh, right? He will talk about algorithms. Or to, is this got to do with maths, uh? But the moment when he has stepped into the Congress to do his presentation of five hours uh, of talking and listening, uh, the listening skill and presentation skill, uh, okay, well done. That's why I call him the scorer. He's very systematic. He's very calm. He's very organized. He's very rigorous. He's very excellent in his presentation efficiency. And the last R, he's right from the start to the end. He's very composed. That's why I call him a scholar. Carry on, my dear. Okay. Uh, source C is uh, useful as it is supported by Source A. Source A claims that there is an, an ongoing dispute over the Spratly Islands between China and the Philippines, and hence the problem is not resolved. Source A shows that the Philippine official on a small boat is attempting to negotiate with the Chinese official on a much larger warship. Furthermore, the Chinese official is clearly ignoring the Philippines official's plan to leave the uh, plea to leave the territory when the Chinese official turned his speaker to the opposite direction from where the Philippines official is standing. This suggests uh, that stop, China- Sorry, I'll stop for a while. Just now you say official plan, then you change the official plea, right? Not plea. No, wait, wait, wait. wait. No, no, no. Well done. You spot your mistake, mistake well. But when you are doing your real GCEO level exam, or even your A level, or even you are talking to 
businessman in real life, he said, the Philippines official plan, uh, I'm sorry, I beg your pardon. The Philippines official plea, you can, you can say, I beg your pardon. Um, okay. Uh, it's, it's good. You know that I, I, I read too fast, it's wrong, but I'm sorry, I beg your pardon. Uh, it's plea. Usually, they will not minus your mark. Oh. Yeah. Rather than the Philippines official plea plan, uh, um, um, the Philippines official plea, plea that, that minus half mark. Yeah. You get I me? Mean? Oh, I see. Of, why is it? Um, I beg your pardon. Um, um. Uh, in fact, you should read. Uh, 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 um, I'm sorry. Uh, you can say I'm sorry. Official plea. Don't just say oh I read wrongly. I just read re read again. Where is your manner? Sometimes you accidentally hit someone. You say oh I'm I'm so sorry. Correct now. It's a manner. So I think your daddy, mommy will drive. And sometimes you want to cut lane. Oh but no. Any of your family. So okay. I mean, if you take bus next time. Okay, Raymond. If you are driving next time and the car want you want to filter, right? You want to filter and the car just mm -hmm. and let you filter. You usually say thank you, right? How you do that? And I do know. So this afternoon when I was going to my mother in law house, the, the, there was a road construction. I want to filter, but the other two cars just go very fast. Okay, never mind. I just take my patient. But the car behind just slow down and I turn. You know what I do? I unwind my window, I leave out my right hand and I do this. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. You know, you make everybody say. And I see old people cross. Um, I just take my time. And today when I was doing my duty, got one mother, father was carrying a baby. He was crying so badly. I just went to get a, a, a pen, a police, you know, those pen as a gift and stop him crying. And then the other ones was just sitting there. Okay, it was very nice. I just gave him the pen. You know, I told the father, he's also a, one of the RC members, say, oh, this pen is for your son to write all the way to university. Raymond, how will you feel when you hear that? You, you feel good, right? Yeah, of course. You feel good, right? I mean, honestly, how many people will talk to, to you like that? They're in agree now. Yeah, this, especially uh, when it's a stranger. This balloon is for your son. Why? Fly to Mars. Ah. <laughs> fly to where? If I say this balloon will fly you high and pass with fine color. Wow, Jiaying, you think it's a swan, right? Huh, Gavin, you think it's a swan, right? Mm. That's the choice of words. That's why now you understand. Words are more powerful than the number. Hmm. It's already proven in the TikTok CEO when they do the presentation. It's already proven by Mr. Lee Kuan Yew. It's already proven by all the leaders, Nelson Mandela. Words is more powerful than numbers. I'm telling you. It's not because I hate math. Uh. I really hate math. Uh. I what, really... you really hate math? Then you take a math home, uh. I feel what? Uh, I feel. I got E8. Huh. Then your e -math how much? Your e -math how much? B3 or E2, I can't remember. Yeah, history, oh, okay, no, no. but my other subject, eh? <laughs> oh, go, go, go. Because I time to do history. You, Raymond, remember I showed you my history textbook, right? That day, my China history textbook, right? Oh, well, I, did, I don't think my so. A levels history uh, textbook, all the whole textbook is all about China. Okay, carry on, sir. Okay. Uh, well, we, uh, this suggests that China is expressing hostility and aggression through its manifestation as a humongous warship with an aim to resolve, unjustly resolve, the dissolve, dispute via its military advantages. On the Philippine side, despite its vast difference in military power, is still argued with China, thus employ, implying an intense dispute going on. Since source E is supported by source A, it is reliable and hence more useful in showing that territorial disputes over the Spratly Islands will not be resolved. It's good to let me revisit these questions. And I realized that when you're reading this, you inspire me to do this as if I'm protecting as a lawyer. I will start here, here on the Philippine side. On the Philippine side, despite its vast differences in military power, still argue with China, thus implying that an intense dispute is going on. Since the source E is supported by source A, it is therefore, as a matter of fact, it's more reliable, and hence, may I say, it is much more useful in showing that the territorial dispute is nevertheless, will not be over just the Sparty Islands that can be resolved overnight. I rest my case. Thank you. You realize that you, you not think about Raymond. You not think about this book. It's written by the author of the book. Very enforcing. Okay? Very enticing. And very enthusiastic. To entice 
the whole entire things. Get it? Like? This is how I feel. Trust me. It's not about just writing, seriously. It's not about, it's a lot of speaking, a lot of conversations. Like I say, I'm, I'm surprised that this guy is from Singapore and the teacher has done a good job. I think Hua Chong has done a good job for him. And I know I've been teaching some of the Hua Chong students, yes. And surprising, Hua Chong is more to the Chinese side. Huh? Right, Raymond? Very Chinese uh, educated. Uh, it's different, right? But you see the way they talk now, he's so articulate because he went to British University. He went to American University. So when you talk to them in like, the American slang, now you understand, I'm telling you, Gavin, if someone says, Gavin, can you stop? Don't slang in front of me. You don't give a bloody damn to them. Because your world is the whole entire world. Imagine now, uh, Raymond, if this T CEO TikTok, uh, Jia Ying, Jia Ying, Wang Kang, if this CEO TikTok go to Congress, actually, my country, my company, TikTok, very good. We got an algorithm to help everyone to do a good job. As a matter of fact, our company are very good. We are very privatized and we protect the security very well. Jia Ying, <laughs> how would you think? Raymond, how do you think? You, I like the way, oh, it's one now. One time now, we're going to share bye-bye. Do you think? Do you understand now? Raymond, the next generation of leaders all depends on you and the rest of you here. The way you speak, it's not the way you write so much. Of course, before the TikTok CEOs, uh, Mr. Chiu go to the US, I believe he wrote a lot of things to them, but the ultimate test is the immediate presentations. And that's how I test my O-level student for many years. One minute presentation. Raymond, can you talk one minute about urine? Uh, excuse me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Urine. Shit. You. What you? You don't have to be able to Oh my goodness. Eh. Holy. Yeah, holy shucks, man. You know my student uh... talking on this, no, Raymond? No, human. Oh, Raymond. Okay, I'll give you one minute. Talk about urine and shit. Disgusting and the way you say. Uh, as uh, from the biological point of view, right. urine is composed of uh, blah blah blah, A, A, A B C D E F. One minute, no, my dear. I mean, I can I can talk about uh, I can memorize my biology textbook la. You see, is it one way of practicing? Two now, bro. Is it one minute non-stop man? Can you imagine you do that la? The 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 later on la, when you want to do part-time tuition la, the parents say, Ah, Raymond, come come, Mr. Miao, I want you to teach my son. Bio is paid, ma, photosynthesis is carbon dioxide oxygen, uh, True. Please. Okay, well done. So you see, I, I did it now. And you can do it. Okay, carry on. Ultimately. So the last hmm. one. Ultimately. Uh, ultimately, that, source E is not useful. Source E is an account from the World Socialist website. This means it is expected to defend China and China's interest given that China is a socialist nation and a member of the World Socialist website. Thus, Wait, uh, this is somewhat, yes. okay. Thus, Source E uses one-sided terms such as denying that uh, were directed against China and military cooperations between the US and the Philippines to portray China as the victim of the territorial dispute. This is to show the world that they should support China in a territorial dispute so that China will be the beneficiary and resolve the disputes. With such a hidden agenda, I have reason to believe that Source E is biased and hence unreliable. Since Source E is unreliable, it is not useful in showing that territorial disputes over the Israeli islands will not be resolved. And I thank you for, for redoing, revisiting this uh, question because uh, I'm helping you in your social study. So you can say this, I have reason. So instead of I have reason, you should say, you should say this. I therefore strongly have good reason to believe that my proposal to you, Mr. Raymond Mel, the principal of um, Manister High, that this outing for the graduation uh, cohort will be a very wonderful and a real lot of time because this is the way we part our way to go our separates the next year. I hope to hear from a favorable reply from you, sir. 
If not, I will bring a bomb to your office and make sure you're blast off. Thank you. <laughs> okay, but... Oh, you're so sarcastic. Do you think I'm sarcastic, Raymond? Mm, honestly, no. Yeah, thank you. You know my style, huh? So, uh, now you understand our dear Raymond is still mm, nice, very innocent girl. Uh, by the way, Tia Ying, remember the day, right? So, you show me, was it you? Your school, right? Not using the day, remember? Was it you that your teacher said that it circled the day, referring to the day? Was it you to show us the paper, right? Remember? Uh, so, do not, uh, Tian, Tian Xiang, do not in your SS or in your history or whatever. Do you do history, Tian Xiang? Sorry, I can't hear you. Seriously. Uh, no. Oh, you don't do so. What are you doing? Geography or literature? I, I really can't hear. Sorry. Geography or literature? Uh, literature. Oh, English or Chinese literature? Uh, Chinese. You realize that, huh? Raymond and Gavin? I'm escalating the questioning technique, right? You see, I did not say, uh, Tien Xiang, you take the teacher, right? Uh, or you, do you do other subject? Like, you see, I'm escalating. This is, uh, I will share with you in the next round. I'm preparing this kind of questioning technique that I learned from my police force and others. Uh, recently, I took up some course on that. And uh, let me share with you what I'm going to do. Uh, Raymond, you still got another essay, huh? Ah, uh, yeah. Now, I love this essay. Carry on. Okay. May, may now, to answer your questions, uh, whether you can tell a story, yes, to a certain extent, but not too much of it. Okay? You must know to follow your D-E-E-R-L. Remember? That's why I put here. The D-E-E-R-L. You must, yes, you have to can add in some of your story inside your structure response question, but not too much. Uh, okay? I basically... Oh, never mind. Say, 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 don't stop. What? Like, like, we don't have to memorize for this part. Like, we just... Uh, you, are right, you are Sorry? right, You are right. What? What? That. You are right to say that you need not have to memorize because you're based on extract one, two, and three. But you still need to know the fundamental. Like, for example, so, it's a Medi Safe for, what is a Medi Shield for, what is a Medi Fund for, what is a Baby Bonus for, and what is a Skill Future for. And what do you think by SMEs or what kind of requirements? You still need to know some basics here and there. Like, like just use our prior knowledge for SS, then you write. I like the word you use, prior knowledge. You are absolutely right. Yeah, what else? Okay, I think that's all. Then, then give example, right? Let's read. Ah, good, good. Let's see this example. You're right. Because we got another example as well as one kind of example. You are asking a very relevant question, seriously. To be honest, I'm not sarcastic, huh? Because I, a lot of students say, hey, uncle, how much is it? SRQ, wow, this, this is the same. To a certain extent, you need to memorize. But compared to history, you die, die, have to memorize. Right, Gavin? Don't worry. Agree now. Agree now. The Treaty of Versailles, you need to memorize, right? Correct now. Example, I'm using the Treaty of Versailles. Agree now, Gavin? Right. Sing yen, agree now, sing yen. <laughs> Get on. Let's go, Raymond. In your opinion, what can the SG government do to manage the COVID-19 situation? Two recommendations. Back to you, sir. One measure the Singapore government can implement to uh, manage the COVID-19 situation is the enforcement of wearing of face masks out when outside of houses. The COVID-19 virus is an airborne virus that can be spread via respiratory droplets during close contact. It is highly contagious, especially in a country with a high population density like Singapore. By putting on a face mask, it significantly reduces the risk of transmissions and infections from another in infected individual during close interactions such as conversations. This helps to mitigate the spread of the COVID-19 virus as it means less people will be infected, resulting in less deaths. This further suggests that less human hours are wasted, and hence the efficiency of work and even the country will be less impacted. This ensures that Singapore maintains its high level of competition and its knowledge-based economy. Thus, one measure the Singapore government can implement to manage the COVID-19 situation is the enforcement of the wearing of face masks, masks when outside of holes, houses. 
you realize I'm uh, in. Do you think this one have to memorize or based on your GK? Uh, Tian Xiang, GK stands for general knowledge and CK stands for your contextual knowledge, which is your textbook. Are you there, Tian Xiang? Whose finger is that, bro? Uh, my finger. Oh, no, no, no. I mean the finger on the screen holding the paper. Why are you noticing that you... Exactly. Uh -huh. She's interested in your finger, Raymond. <laughs> you, what the... Well, you, what the... What, what do you say? Do you want to uh, say the fish? Nothing, oh, nothing, nothing. I love to hear that word. Whoa, what the fish? Yeah, thank you. Okay, uh, Raymond. Well, well written. So, you see, this is your, based on your GK knowledge. Huh? At the same time, you put it in the pieces here and there based on what you have learned, not just from school, but from your, your, your literature that you read out. I'm not talking about English literature. It's like, that means uh, the brochures or sometimes from TV, sometimes from news article or some from newspaper or whatever it is to put it in place. This is a very straightforward. And I'm, I'm, sus sus I'm suspecting that these kind of questions may come out either this year or next year. Trust me. It's either either this year or next year or at least there will be one year coming out of COVID-19. Confirm. Because... Uh, after the SARS, uh, SARS, that was many years ago, it came out this kind of question before. Okay, so I won't be surprised if I compare uh, one kind to compare SARS and COVID-19 and plus, um, plus this uh, another epidemic stuff. You won't be surprised because it got to do with this kind of diseases will affect the whole global scene. You will affect the diversity as well, all right? So thank you. That is the one solution. Next one, please. Another measure the Singapore government can implement to manage the COVID-19 situation is through the use of tracking apps. Trace tracking mobile apps such as Trace Together can be utilized by the government authorities like Ministry of Health to locate individuals who may have contacted with an infected individual. Once someone has had close contact with an infected individual, the app will notify the person through, <laughs> through the app. This helps with dealing with the COVID-19 virus as the notified individual will undergo self-isolation in accordance with other imposed restrictions, which prevents the virus from spreading further to others around him. In addition, the government could also use data collected by the app to, hmm, to use data by, collected by the app to note which areas infections occurred most frequently and has hence act accordingly. Evidently, the app's efficiency is proven by its ability to cut contact tracing time from four days to two. Hence, this improves the country's efficiency as less time is spent on locating infected individuals. Thus, another measure the Singapore government can implement to manage the COVID-19 situation is through the use of tracking apps. Well, you lack the feeling, uh, because of these cutting times to let people to trace better, to identify the infected um, uh, citizens and put them on quarantine and put them uh, away from the public for a safeguard of them of their health, well-being, and, and to have a proper treatment for them. You, you must put this task. The citizens of Singapore will feel safe and secure. Do not. You forget the feeling. You see, feel safe and secure. So once you feel safe and secure, people will know, wow, this government here, the people here, the three party, yeah, Three party, that is the governments, the people, and which one? The most important to me. Uh, which one? Kevin, tell us again, which is the most important? There are three parties that involve in this particular setup for me, this COVID-19. The government, the people, Singaporean, and what is the third group? Jia Ying. You have you have friends and relatives in other countries like that, right? So when you tell them about Singapore governments and you yourself follow the rules and regulations, put on the mask, go to vaccinations, trace together, what is the response by your foreign friends and relatives towards Singapore? How do they feel and, and express their feeling? Back to you. I will ask everyone, uh, don't mind, uh, you please answer me, don't waste time on go. After Jia Ying, I'll call the next person. Jia Ying, yes, thank you. Um, I think they will ask me like how's um 
the education in Singapore and how's the environment in Singapore? Nothing to do with COVID. Eh? Um, okay, the, uh, what, what did the like, government do about the measures of um, COVID-19? How they protect the citizens in Singapore? Okay, so you put that in one ear, tell them that the whole thing is very good. Then they say, how do they feel? They say, wow, it's really bad, it's really bad. They say, how do they feel? They say, wow, they don't think that a small country can do so well. They say, okay, it's okay, it's okay. What is kind of the expression? Back to you, Jai. Uh, okay, so I think the way they feel about the situation is very surprised that Singapore did um, Really good comparing to like um other countries ah yeah other countries we don't mention any countries ah other countries. We're not perfect, right? We try to be near as good as it is. Um, okay. So the next one is um, what is your favorite food? 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 会觉得哦，我的宝贝孙女儿还是我的侄女儿，对吗？啊，在新加坡平平安安，对。So they see, you see 啊，王康 ，What about you? What did your foreign friends or relatives say when you tell them about this implementation as what Raymond has written? Now I'm serious, ah,、huh? I'm serious. Um,、uh, they think that uh, we're very fortunate to be living in Singapore because the measures are. The measures implemented by by the government is very effective, and it helps to um prevent a like uh a large scale of virus like. I like、Asia. the way you use that the large scale of virus. Yes, true. It's very true. Thank you. So, my dear Wang Kang and Jia Ying, don't screw up, ma. Your parents have done a great job here in Singapore. Don't screw up. You are the next the next level of generation of leaders. So your job is make sure to do much better than us. Seriously, agree or wrong? Right? Right? Because seriously, if not, ah, so we fool not go three days. Ah, whatever we do, ah, fool not go three days. Thank you. So you see, wrong? You you really have to take that kind of measure that make you. So Gavin, now I ask you, ah, you look at other countries that implement implementations like Singapore. How would you feel about other countries who are not doing the good job like us? Back to you, Gavin. Now it's the other way. You know, okay. I thank God I stay in Singapore. We have all this、uh, implementation. I feel safe, like what Wang Kang and Jia Ying say. So now you look at your friends from other country, ex country. I don't say the name of the country. Ex country, tell you, wow, my country sucks, lah. My country don't have this. Our、uh, vaccination have to pay, lah. Sometimes the vaccination expire. Uh, what is your expression, the feeling? I'll be very surprised. No, you see, Wang Kang. You see, ah, Wang Kang. He talk surprise, oh. I don't understand. Surprise is a good thing or bad thing, right? Uh, It's like in bad things because, uh, because wow, well, well, we have like good measures. Uh, other people in other countries are suffering, even though we are facing the same diseases. Objection, Your Honor. How do you know other countries are suffering? You got statistics, ah?、Uh? <laughs> a doctor come and tell you. Actually, I'm telling you, my country very bad because a lot of people die on the street. I never tell you which country we are from, but we are all dying now. Remember, uh, Gavin got one country last time need the oxygen tank, oh,、huh? then we provide the oxygen tank for them to full real bro, and then we say, hey, hello, hey, how are Singapore? We cannot how ah, we got no oxygen tank. Now you know why. Wei Yi Chou Mo ah, that's what SS is teaching you. Okay, what else, Gavin? Uh, we can get to like reopen earlier, compared to them as, as they can't、mm. mitigate the the spread of the virus. Well done, well said. Yeah, because we have a series of good measures. So Raymond, thank you. Uh, Gavin, Raymond, what about you? Ah,、uh? when your foreign friends tell you, hey Raymond, thank God, man, bro, you lucky ah、uh, in Singapore, not my country ah.、Uh. Wearing mask ah,、uh, if I don't wear mask, I pay so high. But other race way at wear mask, I only pay. One dollar, was that? Huh? How you feel, Raymond? Hmm, I will feel very proud of my country. Okay, that that's my side. But how will you feel when your foreign friend tell his country, ex country, like that? How will you feel about that? That that feelings? 
pathetic. <laughs> okay, why, why, why? Oh, because uh, what like? Because it's like what we're expecting from like the government is like how to say? I like the word you use, ah. Uh? So you are expecting the government because you vote for the government. You expect something in return. Well done. Yeah, uh, we expect uh, we have very high expectations, while the reality is actually very cruel. Cool. <laughs> uh, you are welcome to the twenty first century, sir. Education mm. has really transformed transformed the whole entire world compared to mm. fifty years ago, or even hundred years ago, or even no need to be so far, the twenty years ago. That 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 uh, social media's and uh, internet and technology has. Uh, remember the word paradigm shift. Remember I use the word paradigm shift. As really shift from the old ways of doing things, uh, uh, is what Raymond. Okay, what else? Raymond, you say, come on. Hmm. And also, uh, I naturally I will feel very sad for them, uh, because they don't get to have like. The. A series of policy, a series of implementation, a series of safeguarding their well-being. Agree? Mm. Right? Mm, pretty much. Pretty much. Honestly, Raymond, joke aside, don't get angry with me. Were you not going to plan for your son next time? You would even do much more bad than that, right? Yeah, probably. Yes. Because you know your son next time to buy a house in Singapore is going to kill him. It's going to be so expensive. Why? How? So you have to work triple hard, not for yourself, no, for not for your generations, so. for your retirement, my dear. Huh? How? You need to how? The only thing is that work hard for it. Nothing is free. You know, other countries they have free this and that, but they pay a very high price for their high taxes. So don't compare these type of things. So you know why? Maybe you are right. Even SRQ also can tell a story. SBQ also can tell a story. It's just like how you put the story to convince, to connect, to be creative and contribute your ideas together so that you have the confidence level to present the case in front of everyone. That is about the 5C. Seriously, the most important thing is that you just have the four of you and connected together. Tian Xiang, it's not, I don't want, I'm not interested to call you. I, I don't want to stress you out. If you want to continue my lesson in future, you have to do this participation so that you, you won't look at the question and you stand there. The three F, you know it's three F. Uh? Raymond, you know it's a three F, the F words. You freeze. The second one, you you fright, F L I G, you run away. The third one, you fight. <laughs> Rick, Gavin, what are you thinking of the F words? When you look at the question, you freeze. Oh my god, I never studied. I'm not saying you are. Uh. Then the second is you fright, you give up. The third one, you fight for it. You go for it. Which F you want to choose? Interesting, huh? Okay. Thank you so much for the question that you've done. Can we move on to the next question, please? Do you think differing needs and interests is a more important challenge for Singapore government than the unequal sharing of costs when deciding what is good for the society? As I mentioned earlier for these questions, I think the unequal sharing of costs is more important than sharing the needs and interests. Jiaying, you may like Mercedes. Wang Kang, you may like BMW. Mei Mei, you might like a uh, Volvo. Okay, Gavin, you might like a... Uh, no, I don't. Love. Just example, la, for goodness sake, cannot. Hey, yo. Seriously, no one. Okay, so uh, Gavin, you might like Lamborghini. Uh, Raymond, you might like um, Ferrari. Okay, Tian Xiao, you might like maybe uh, uh, Audi. Okay, so these are all different, all cars, huh? But maybe Raymond, Uncle, Uncle Raymond like Rolls Royce, okay, for example. So which car is more expensive? Is it we talk about the speed, we talk about the, the comfort, we talk about the, the, the prestigious, uh, ostentious goods. In fact, all the cars are all pretty expensive. But now I change our uh, We talk about Honda, Suzuki, okay, uh, um, what do you call uh, Kia or Hyundai, okay, all these are uh, or, or uh, Toyota, okay, simple car that we drive. So you see how that is where uh, Wang Kang, Liaoving, Tian Xiang, Mian Mian, and Jia Ying and Raymond. That's why we got the COE, the Certificate of Entitlement. That's why we got different taxes based on different car. It's the same as houses. 
So if you see my needs, hey, hello, I don't need to drive a Lamborghini and uh, uh, Jia Yi. If I got family, I'll say, how to, how to sit in a Lamborghini? Tell me, tell me. My mom will be sitting on the rooftop, is it? <laughs> tell me now. Uh, tell me. Then my, my dog, like, if I want to bring my dog, my dog will be, oh, I'm flying. Uh, all the fur fly. Can you imagine the fur fly, uh, the, the motorcycle, pop. Uh, whose fur is that that covered my eyes? <laughs> Raymond, I will buy a seven-seater car, right? Do not. Right. Like, may, maybe you and your wife just got married. You don't need a seven-seater car for what? You just need a, a two-door car will do, a, two, a two-seater car, correct or not? Or maybe a four-seater car, get it. Or maybe, uh, Gavin, you don't like car, maybe you need a motorcycle so your, your girlfriend can hug you when you, you, you take a motorcycle. Ah, sure, right? Joke, ah? Huh? Right, correct or not? No, no, seriously. So I now, now I'm giving the real example. So which one is the different needs and interests? But why must I share the same cause? Unequal cost sharing is not fair, ma? That's what I feel, ah? Huh? Let's go. One important challenge for the Singapore government is the differing needs and interests when deciding what's good for society. In a multicultural society like Singapore's, a diverse population may not be able to agree on common interests and what is most important for a happy or fulfilling life. For example, an efficient public transportation system would be an essential priority for those without their own mode of transport. Conversely, those with their own mode of transport may be more concerned about an efficient road network to ensure they are able to reach their destination quickly and efficiently. Given that society only has limited resources, it will be impossible for everyone's needs and interests to be met fully. As such, decisions on how the resources should be used would need to be made. Hence, deferring needs and interests is indeed an important challenge for the Singapore government when deciding what is good for society. You see, you realize this, uh, is that, you see, before I start to, you, for you to read this, this part of your essay, I already decided, maybe you're right, I, did, I already decided to come on my own storyline to see that whatever I say, differing needs and unequal sharing of courses, does it make sense when I start to write this? Get it? Uh? So it's my own story. Like I, I'm using the different cars, uh, the different houses, or even different needs, right? Just like a Louis Vuitton bag and Gucci bag and even an NTC bag or even a normal ten dollars bag, it's still a bag, right? Jiang Yin, Korean, and Wang Kang, it's still a bag, right? I just carry thing, but different, no. Wang Kang, can you imagine you're a lawyer, a doctor, you carry a uh those uh meal pies the bag, I say you can NTC uh bag ah huh? normal bag. You cheat to go, then Jiang Yin, what can you? But you don't care, do you? You don't care. You yeah, so you just go there. My my job is as a doctor, as a lawyer, I go there and or oh, children. But you see, the difference is that when you carry that kind of Louis Vuitton bag, the very branded bag, it makes your status different. You pay for it. No, seriously. University, wow, master degree university, poly, A level, O level, ITE, PSLE, you see, it's going down the level. The levels of um, looking at people. And that's why we call the social economy status. So how can we say the unsharing of cost? Let's read on the second one. Another important challenge for the Singapore government is the unequal sharing of costs when deciding what's good for society. When a decision is made, some individuals or groups will bear greater costs than others. For example, in building an efficient transportation system for the country, it is necessary to build as expressways for smooth traffic flow. While society will generally benefit, residents living in proximity to the expressways may be affected by the noise. Uh, next page, please. No, I want to stop here, thanks. Uh, you know what I say? Do you remember your textbook, uh, Raymond? There's this not at my back yet. Ah, uh, yes, not in my bag, yeah. Yeah, not in my bag, yeah. Uh, excuse me, I don't... Oh, got that thing. Do it on, do it on, man, man. Hey. On the xenophobic, right? No, sir, not, not in my bag, yeah. Just so, which one is your expressway? You told me your expressway, yeah. Correct, uh, not the xenophobic, yeah. Uh, just so, not, what, 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 I don't need the expressway, what? Hey, I don't need the market. You know, recently, they built this old folks' home beside uh, one of the HTV flats. They say, hey, hello, please say... Then imagine 
，哎，不要了，大吉大利 ，no no no， cannot both away。And then it, uh, if you build a shopping mall, a a a a Raffles Institution School or something that is you know, very prominent one, good one, ah,、uh, wow, your property go up. So this is it. The word unequal sharing is is better in a way for what you have written is that although you pay what you pay, that's unequal. The word unequal is already not balanced. But when you say unequal sharing means the rich will pay the the more expensive. That's true. The poor will pay lesser. In fact, the poor may not need to pay because of the taxes of the rich people. That is supposed to be a society like that. Seriously, but sadly to say, we cannot because there are still got some black sheep. In any politics, you name it. Trust me, even in school, in police, in army, in anywhere, there will sure have black sheep. Why is it more? You know, ma, Gavin, 就是人有 seven deadly sin， 就是那个贪字。不管是怎么样，连和尚也可以贪。A priest also can be anyone. As long as we got human running the four different type of blood cell, the four blood type of cell, A B and A B plus and O. That's all I can tell you. Okay. Why? Because we are human. To err is human. You heard of this word, right, Kelvin? To err is human. You may have heard before, Kelvin. Have you? Ah,、uh, so this is the same. All right. That's Wait, why. Wait, the err is which? Oh,、uh, the the year or what? Ah,、uh, Kelvin, spell for her. Ah,、uh, carry on, Raymond. Spell, my dear. Okay. Ah,、uh, noise generated from the traffic. In Singapore, the situation is even more difficult as Singapore has limited land, and such facilities would invariably be built near somewhere where some people live. Hence, another important challenge for Singapore government is the unequal sharing of costs when deciding what is good for society. Gavin, can you spell for uh, mean mean to the class to err is human. So Raymond, ah, you see, you forgot to weigh. So which one is more important? And you did not give the feelings on that.、Oh. You need to, you need to give the feelings. Ah,、uh, unequal sharing. So what? What? What's your problem? Why I don't like the expressway? Why you build expressway behind my backyard for what? Ah, can you build a shopping mall? Or、oh, every day I can hear the sound. Boom, boom, boom. The car pass by. Siap ah. Not this ah,、uh, my dear. No, sorry. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, to err is human. All right, it's actually from this word, error, the err, and then become terror, and then become terrorist. Wait, I thought you mean the err is like the year or something, eh? Cause err like. No, that is to year. This is err double r. La chan na ke in. So Raymond. What does that mean? Mistake lah. We make mistake. Who err? Oh, the err、okay. is like the slang, like err、uh, something. 不是，你过来 Google and check. Okay, go and Google. To err is human. 整个整个句子放进去 Google, and then they will give you the meaning. Ah,、uh, okay. Can we? Ah,、uh, sorry, Raymond. So which one do you think? Okay, so I can close this case. Oh,、uh, okay. Sorry, wait, wait, sorry, sorry. There's two choice. One is you you tell me already later. We are still fresh in your mind. Quickly type it out or write it out and send it to Uncle Raymond. So at least we can close case for this. If not, then now you tell me. Go. Hmm. Well, I, I, uh, our teacher never taught, didn't teach us how to do the weighing, right? So, so now I'm, I'm your teacher, right? So now I tell you weigh. Okay. So、yeah. ultimately, the unequal sharing of costs is a more important challenge for、right. the Singapore government. Hmm. Yeah. I do. I, I'm not sure how to explain it. Uh, you can speak in French, German, or Japanese. Ah, I'm sure. Don't you should share for sure this. Ah, that is French. Ah,、uh, you want to speak Japanese? Can you? Can you master that? Can you master that? It's not going to be in the Russian. Ah, you want to speak German? Ah, should speak Russian. Dutch or Russian also can come. Ah, 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 Chinese. How do we say? Why is this unfair? Ah, just from the first thing, tell me. Ah, just from the first thing. 你要中国的发音，还是台湾的发音，还是马来西亚的发音，还是新加坡的发音，全部都可以啊！来，呃、uh... ，My job is to entertain all of you 啊 ，because I want your brain not to freeze out. My job is to entertain you because I want to have the fantastic thinking. My job is to entertain you so that you can come up creative ideas. That's about it, ah.、Uh. Okay, don't take it very serious. Like why these teachers or these under women? I that's how I teach. I want it to be fun way. Okay, Raymond. So you should say use a soul. Then how? 
So Uncle Raymond, I think the unequal sharing of courses is one of the paramount importance to the governments because it then kind of the distribution of income, it all depends on the levels of income distribution. How? Let me explain. One of them is that if there's an income that people are earning more, therefore, I think they should be taxed more to pay for certain expenses if they are using more of this expensive stuff. Where else the poorer people might only need the necessity good. Therefore, in my opinion, I strongly believe that the unequal sharing causes should be decided by the factors of how much they spend and what kind of GDP we have and how the, the people in Singapore have their way of managing their lifestyle. For example, if they are um, aging parents or aging populations or auntie, uncle, grandparents, we have to allocate certain money for these people, example, their healthcare. Whereas for children who are coming from poorer family, we have FAS. Whereas for young adults who just graduated from the university, we must have a place for them to look for jobs. And you know, they have to pay expenses like their loans. Therefore, I strongly think that the unequal sharings should be distributed according to number one, their income level, number two, their taxes, number three, their spending power. That's how I feel for it. And I have to agree what Mimi just now was saying that, yeah, it's like creating your own story and talking about it. Okay, it's three I. You need to improve your thinking. You have to innovate your idea. And the third one is to invent the wheel to see how you want to work on it. Get it now, children. I hope you all understand now. Huh? So Raymond, give you some time to think about it. It's a good essay, but it's really, uh, it's just a dragon, a very nice dragon, but you forget to put the two dots of the eyes. But the dragon is blind, cannot move. Hello, excuse me, who turned on the light? You get the idea? Okay. And which animal are your horoscope are this year? Libra. No, no, no. Chinese horoscope. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, the, the, the su I, su I want the Chinese. I don't want the Amor. The pig. Oh, Oh, in my lesson plans this year. All right. So thank you for this one here. We have done this already. Okay, now how do we respond? This one, I think we have to cover next week already. Okay. But this is a question here that um, I want to go through this um, to help you all. Okay. So this is the answer that uh, I think I shared with you last week. Okay. So have you done this one already? Okay, uh, Gavin, can you read the first paragraph? Okay. One way that new citizens can contribute in making Singapore a more cohesive society is to embrace the Singapore culture. For example, new citizens can join their neighbours in celebrating their festive seasons such as Chinese New Year and Hari Raya. When invited, they should visit their neighbours and use the opportunity to find out more about the customs and traditions of various ethnic groups. Here on, here on. Sorry, sorry. I got something to do again. Another way is for new citizens to start a group or organization for a cause. New citizens who live in a public housing estate can initiate activities such as community farming where they can approach government bodies to provide space. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah. Mommy, why must laugh at you like that, Kevin? No wonder someone said you're very cute. Wow. Okay, come. To provide space Wait, for who them. who say who cute? Don't know. Like, I don't know who say. The one who say who say so cute one, I don't know. 
，哦，嘉颖还没你跟他登记了吗？嘉颖拿拿一把刀给我们，哈哈哈哈哈。Gavin， Gavin， Gavin， to my herbs and spices， these plants can be harvested in the species and herbs can be shared with neighbors. Everyone in the neighborhood will take turns to look after the plants. 不过这样也可以写啊，天祥。You can see that like that also can write ah yes that's why I give you the <laughs> ready can you write down ah uh, ah、uh, Jiayi I give you the A B C D E ah、uh, it's not for fun ah、uh. A is able to what to create the atmosphere write down I'm serious the atmosphere that the citizen want to contribute right the B stand for okay A is to to create the atmosphere so that you have a good bonding. Once you have a good bonding, you have this cohesiveness, which is the Chinese New Year Hari Raya, correct? You create the atmosphere which is. Can you do the right? Sorry, ah, give them before I forget my train of thought. Sorry, ah, Mimi. Sorry, sorry. The first one is to create the atmosphere which is the the holiday, right? Correct, ah, Jiayi. The atmosphere. Once you create the atmosphere, you want to bring them together, ma. You bond them. Hey, Kong Si Pa Tai, Selama Hari Raya, Happy Diwali, Merry Christmas. So once you have that, you bring them together. The cohesiveness, the fabric of diversity. That's a C. Then D is to develop a healthy relationship. Wang Kang, are you writing? Okay, Tian Xiang, I hope you are writing. Ah,、uh. uh, Raymond, the rest all you writing. Ah,、uh. okay, because this is what when Gavin was reading, it suddenly come to my mind. So develops a good relationship. Once you have the atmosphere, the bonding, the cohesiveness, this is where you can develop the holistic relationship. If you don't have the A B C, you cannot develop the environment. True, true, not Gavin. You agree, not? Sorry, take you and your brother for example. Don't get angry, us, ah, Xing Yue and Gavin. You all have the atmosphere. They just say, ah, hey, bro, I think that mommy birthday coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, come. Let's go and 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 search for a birthday、uh, present for mommy. So you bond with your brother, correct, not? Say for example, now both of you are married already. You you stay in your own your different um family, ah.、Uh. Then because it's other me, because one of you fly around, the other one also work different shift, ah.、Uh. But because of mommy birthday, right? You all come together, you bond together, right? Ah.、Uh, then you want to create the seed. You also can say create the create the atmosphere, ah,、uh, to bring out this ah、uh, ah、uh, Mother's mommy. Day or mommy's birthday、mm -hmm. to sit together have a have a meal, right? Gavin, can you mute me, please? So then, what is the D? Why to develop the atmosphere to develop a good healthy relationship? They mark wow, bro, how you meet you? You you 最近飞来飞去啊 Then Gavin say yeah, I I used to go to US to work. And how about you, bro? No, I usually I go to Malaysia and Southeast Asia because of my business, something like that. So what is the E? Anyone can tell me what is the E? What is the team? What is the E now? Anyone can tell me what is the E? Anyone? Don't sh don't strike me! Come on, tell me what's the E? Nobody. Wang Kang. Uh, enhanced relationship. Yes, which is called everlasting enhancing relationship. You are absolutely right. No kidding. Actually, I was using enhance, but I change to everlasting, which is not wrong. Ah,、uh. I'm telling you, if I I know, I know. If I don't know, I don't know. Just like just now, ah,、uh, Mimi was asking what is E Y E Y A. Okay, thank you. Enhance the relationship. This is why. Look at this one. Ne. Ah,、uh, Gavin, can you continue for me, please? One way that new citizens can contribute in making Singapore a more cohesive society is to embrace the Singapore culture. For example, new citizens can join their neighbors in celebrating their festive seasons, such as Chinese New Year and Hari Raya. When invited, they should visit their neighbors and use the opportunity to find out more about the customs and traditions of the various ethnic groups. The interaction in relaxed and joyous setting allows for bonding with other Singaporeans and creates mutual understanding and respect for each other. This positive relationship will strengthen the ties between the new citizens and other Singaporeans, therefore contributing to more 
to a more cohesive society. One kind, you see, already have the A, B, C, D, E inside already, correct now? The last sentence will be therefore contributing to more cohesive society, correct now? The E, enhancing really, everlasting. Carry on. Another way is for new citizens to start a group or organization for a cause. <coughs> New citizens who live in a public housing estate can initiate activities such as community farming where they can approach government bodies to provide space for them to plant herbs and spices. These plants can be harvested and the spices and herbs can be shared with neighbours. Everyone in the neighbourhood will take turns to look after the plants. The act of sharing will bring everyone together and build among the participants. This will promote a stronger sense of unity and a more cohesive society. Agree, one can enhancing an everlasting relationship. So there is no excuse to have a racial riot. There's no excuse for any race to attack others. There's no excuse for race or religions or whatever rights you're talking about to, to disrupt the unities of this social fabric in Singapore to ensure that what you say, ensure right? I would say, uh, you say enhance, I would say to ensure that this will have a continuity patterns of a creating a good atmosphere to bond together, to have the cohesiveness, develop a good relationship, and enhance it forever. Nice, super A to E. Okay? So, Jia Ying, Wang Kang, Tian Xiang, Mian Mian, uh, Mei Kui, Galvin, and Raymond, if you stop, start there, uh, use your A, B, C, D, E. Use your 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, seriously. One government's Two ways of doing things, three different types of strategies, correct? Four religions. You realize that? We need one government, ma, correct? Ma? One strong government, three government. What is the two? Two things to two way. You cannot have one way. You always have at least two choices, correct? Now, feel not, Jiang Yi. Right? You see, like, like for example, GST to increase or not to increase. Well, one can, now let's come to your comparison now. Agree or not agree? Sorry, one government. Two types of uh, policy. Three is what? I forgot. Three, uh, three methods of doing things. Three strategies. Four religions or four races. Okay? Four races. What? What's wrong? Okay, I said two. Uh, may I have uh, Jia Yin? Can you read to the next one, please? So this is a question, uh, uh, Tian Xiang, take note. Uh, religious is more vital, so let's read. This is a uh, three to four marks one, but of course later you have to repeat due to the enhancement. Carry on. Religion. Think, sorry, sorry. Why not? Because of time constraint, you just read the rest. Uh, huh? Don't mind. Thanks. Let's go. I can't hear you. Sorry. Religion is vital in shaping a person's identity. Most religion, religions embody a set of shared core beliefs and practices. Believers keep to these beliefs and practices regardless of their nationality and ethnicity. The main re religion in Singapore promote values such as respect, love, and care for one another. These beliefs and practices would then shape the way we interact with others and the choices we make and affects our thinking. These influences our way of life. Religion thus play an important part, an important role in shaping a person's identity as it influences a person's way of life. That's why you realize uh, all the holidays in Singapore are got to do with religions. Uh. Seriously, uh, Christmas are called religion. Chinese New Year may not be a religion, but yes, certain day. But because during the 15 uh, got this one of the day, you have to go to Gong, right? Gong, the God of the heavens. It's one of religions, really, a true Chinese New Year. And then we're talking about Hari Raya. It's true. Like, I think your Muslim friend has been fasting, uh. These are for goodness sake. Don't drink and eat in front of them. Okay? Don't eat and drink in front of them. Please give respect to them. Okay, thanks. Carry on. 
social economic status in shaping a person's identity. It usually determines the kind of education, career, and re recreation someone has. People from a high or low class background will often mix only with those of a similar class. Singaporeans often define their identity based on their education, qualifications, and jobs. People are very conscious of class differences and define success in life according to income and wealth. Hence, social economic status has a great impact on a person's identity. I don't like this social economic status, Yang. Seriously. I seriously, even if really one day Uncle Raymond is to be rich, and I hope I'm not the one to be very rich. Because sometimes when you're too rich, huh, you might forgot to have this forward, Ying Shui Shi Yen. Right? So I, I feel it. Like, I feel it. I may be wrong. Huh? That's my take. Because maybe I'm, my, my generation is different from your generations. Some people, yes, yeah, some, but, but I feel it through my experience. Okay? That is my cross-referencing. That is comparison. Okay? So... Now, let's talk about this one first. And uh, what about this one? The COVID. Uh? Yeah, the COVID one, I, I, I get to see any one of you handing your homework. So see, the answer is already here. But definitely, I want to go through it. So, uh, and these are the uh, hey, Sian, these are the magic words. Uh, from here to somewhere, I think, if I'm not mistaken here, was given by a professor, a British, uh, um, no, an Irish professor, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember, so sorry or American professor currently, who went to one of the, the girls' school and shared during the social study with the teachers like us. And this last part here is my own uh, list of words that I think you should uh, undoubtedly use it. Of course, it will be good to use it because rather than to keep it inside your, 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 your file, in the long run, it doesn't make sense for you. So look at this, some of the words here. Like, it's definitely very useful in your, like the word tenacity, paradox, um, words like paradigm shift. I think there's a word with paradigm shift here. Um, where is my paradigm shift? Yeah, paradigm shift. And these are all the words very useful in the nutshell. And some of these words can be used in your compo for argumentative, expository, explanatory essay. Right? So, yeah. In fact, I also give it to my set one to set four students. The one of them was in Stephanie. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I just want to go back to this one um, before I end the lessons. Uh, I feel that uh, religions, uh, take note, uh, I, I will keep emphasizing that. Is this this one? Yeah, no, not this question. I keep emphasizing religions is more important than social economic status. Okay. Uh, if you can, please write this essay. That would be good. And make a comparison. Because even though this is a seven marks question, right? Uh, eight marks. Did, did I have the last paragraph there? No. Okay. So I, I can't find my last paragraph. My answer is that. So religion is more important than social economic status. Very simple. Because religion says, use also the ABC. It creates a kind of atmosphere to come. Remember. One religion can have many ways. Uh, true now. Agree? One kind, you agree? Like, if it's a Muslim, it can be a Chinese Muslim, Indian Muslim, or a Caucasian Muslim, or a Black Muslim, or Negro Muslim, whatever. So therefore, these religions has been a significant impact because religion says they don't care in the eye of religion. I don't care if you are super rich or super poor. As long as you believe in religions, there is this call right now, uh, F-A-I-T-H, faith. Okay, uh, you know about just now I put the caste system, someone put the old man there. Can you please do your research on the caste system, which is India? Okay. And what was my next question? Just now I, I just see I, I lost track. What, 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 what did I say, uh, Raymond? What did I say? Hmm? Oh, I'm talking about religions, right, Wang Kang? About religions for different type of race, right? Right. So religions is some kind of unite using the ABC. Religion has created the atmosphere to bond people together, correct now, and create the kind of environment to protect them. Uh, and the word is called faith, correct? The word faith. F-A-I-T-H. Uh, Gavin, type for me. The faith is actually, this faith itself has bring in thousands of years until today. 
we're talking about Buddhism, Taoism, Christianity, Islam, Hinduism. All this is, if you study history, you know that is we also all these religions. Sometimes the rich huh, will donate to build temple, churches, mosques, all these things. Why? Because they believe that gods will provide them all these things. But of course, you don't write this in your social study, uh, okay, seriously. And it's good to, to know all these type of things because it might involve in your project later on in your A-level or even your poly because you've got to do presentations. Now, social economy state, okay, I'm sorry, I haven't finished religions. Uh. The religion itself is encompassed of good things, the value right now, uh. the values to make people. Because through religions, people believe have the self-belief in them right now. People believe their confidence right now. And people also think that through religions, they give them a new hope. Hope stands for heaven, often pray for everyone. That's called hope. And the faith stands for father, always instill true holiness. So this is how I teach my Bible class in, when I was teaching my elder son in the Bible, uh, Bible class uh, many years ago. So like the love, the hate, the faith, all these things. So with all this encompass the religion, the values, the meanings uh, of self-confidence, the meaning of hope, the meaning of faith, the meaning of respect, the meaning of uh, endurance, the meaning, meaning of filial piety. These are all the good values. So without all these religion teaching and values, you will not have the social economical class, that, that country of whom. You know the Tang Dynasty, Tang Chao, the Shi Zai Tang Tai Zhong, if I'm not mistaken. Why they got this golden age? It's through religions. Most of the dynasty in the past, in fact, until now, usually are religions, most of the time. But sadly to say, the Western have forgo their meanings of religions. They become a religion called money. Seriously, oh Raymond, they become a religion of money. Very sad. Huh? I, I'm seriously, and now another new religion called Bitcoin. I, I'm not kidding, Bitcoin. Okay, seriously. I'm very sad. It's your generation or one kind. It's your generation. You can face it. You like it or not. Okay. You know, this uh, morning when I was doing my police duty, I got auntie come and say, hey, now that app, uh, app, uh, uh, yung, yung, uh, wopa, like, I don't want to go to food court, uh, use uh, that app to buy things. I don't know if app will be scammed or if my money is not paid for it. I have to pay for three dollars. I have to pay for three dollars. So you get what app where you don't use it, or you use it this one, I will still pay cash for it. Very sad. This one happened, no. You might come out this kind of question. So now I really want to take me means this question very seriously. Can we write our own story, which is not nothing wrong, but not too exaggerating. Okay, if your example is relevant, ah, because social study is very fluid, ah, it changes, ah. So it's not wrong to add in some of the story that if you have the latest information like using TikTok, for example, or other things about cyber security, cyber wellness, which we are talking about later on in the last chapter of this whole entire social study textbook. You will understand why. Do you hear the ambulance sound? Do you hear the ambulance sound? No one. So every time when the ambulance pass by my house, I will pause for a while and pray for the person in the ambulance. Sorry, yeah. that's me. Yeah. <laughs> because I really got true one. Uh, correct now. We are all humans, uh, correct now. Uh. When the asylum is, okay, as a police officer, I also have to feel bad about the people getting injured. Okay, so Tian Xiang, you have to understand that uh, religion is more important than social economy status. Give me one or two minutes to explain uh, now social economy status. You may have the money. You may have the background with your educations. But do you have the sense of meanings that, that understand the, the status or the feelings of the lower class? Are you able to contribute? You realize all the businessmen, the multi-millionaire, billionaire, they will somehow contribute. And I know that all of you here in this class, one day, it's not you will be, uh, it, it may be, uh, it will be, not maybe, uh, it will be that you guys will be very successful. Will you be able to contribute some of your pay to help this poor. No? Is it because uh, Wang Kang, don't mind, uh, I don't know what is your religion. Maybe you're a free thinker. I don't know. Uh, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Okay, Wang Kang. Whether is it through your religions, through your heart feeling, or through whatever your social study, will you contribute uh, some of your, let's say, the current maker, you need 10,000 a month. Uh, One dollar to contribute every month, to deduct $1 dollar from your salary, uh, to give to the FAS, the poor people. Uh, of course, okay, right? Okay, right? Do you mind? It's quite you can't. Cannot. Everyone can. 
Uh, so this is the thing. Are it through your religions? Some of them is through religion. Some of them is through not. So you see, now this is what you mean. You write here, but you know the meaning of it. You see, often define their identity based on education and qualification job. You see, they never mention about religions. They mention about this EQJ. Or oh, because you are a director, you are the 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 uh the heart surgeon. Okay, one kind doctor, one kind is a heart surgeon, earn money like nobody business. One operation is oh my, but that one dollar, you need question of your chain now. one kind is um doctor one don't donate one dollar. Mm -hmm. Doctor one do free operations for patients who can't afford to pay. Is this considered as a good social status economy? Right? One can't correct now. So it's not about the money here, it's about how you feel to do it. That's social study. Take note of that. You see, because the impact has a big impact on the person's identity, you see. It's not the wealth, uh, the wealth of knowledge, the wealth of money, and the wealth of experience is different. That's what it means here. So the social economic status, when you say religious, are they tied together? They're actually a change, uh, Raymond. They're actually a change. Because if a person have a good religion background, from young, like my son, always Saturday have to go to Bible class. They say, Daddy, why go Bible class for what? Every time talk about Jesus, Jesus, Jesus died, Jesus this. Why? Huh? Uh, in the name of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, okay. Well, then, then why? So you realize that some my, my elder son now get, get older, they understand the meaning. So once you have the, the baseline, okay, some ingredients inside your body with that religious knowledge, with the religious, you will have a different impact. I'm not saying that all of you who have no religion don't impact, I know. Uh, because you use this EQRJ, that is your impact. Me, by my Raymond. But a person with a religion will add in that, 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 that 25. But now you only got 75%. But if your religion may make it a 100%. Me, me, by my Me, me, by my ma. You see, uh, if a religion is not important, uh, then they will have no religion war. Uh. Correct, huh? Most of the time, people fight at least 50%. Uh, they're being chewed up. People fight in the, in the war is mostly a religion. most of the time, correct? Uh? Right? So that's my argument. You realize, uh, uh, Tian this is how Uncle Raymond's always at the end of the things. I want to convince, not just you, uh, Tian Xiang, to my audience, why Uncle Raymond choose religions. One time, I mean by my, uh, to convince you. Imagine that I'm a lawyer. My client is religion. <laughs> so affect my the other client's social economy status. It's just like in the debate team, Raymond, you are, you are standing on the religion side to, to enhance, enforce, ensure, enthusiastic about it and to make your excellent speech to say, ladies and gentlemen, before I end my debate here, I feel that religion is the paradigm, she's the most important paramount thing because without religions, you are like a a person in the desert without a compass. I rest my case. Can I? I can find my way, ma, correct now. I don't have compass, huh? I can still find my way. <laughs> water, water. Then suddenly you see the oasis. It's a mirage. Damn it. You blow me, God. Then suddenly God comes down. You want water? I give you 100 plus. Oh, thank you, God. Now I believe in God. There's a miracle. Actually, it's not true. La. Because the helicopter, public, the helicopter came to rescue you. Because God hear your prayer, you answer your prayer. So he sent another angels called the SAF come and save you. And then they say they live happily ever after. <laughs> okay, that's my own story. I'm so sorry, yeah, guys. Uh, some of the things that I cannot cover, I will cover next week. Because thanks to uh, Raymond's, your essay, I think very good. Huh? To your essay, we have the kind, we learn how to pronounce the words, how to say, I beg your pardon, and, and how to do the rhythms and all these things. Okay, so Kevin, Wang Kang, thank you, Wang Kang. I'll mark your paper. Next week, I'll go through your paper, right? Jia Ying, the rest of you, uh, I think you can do uh, the COVID-19. That will be good. At least must do the COVID-19 story. Trust me, because you never know. It might come out in your prelim. That question came out in one of the, I think it's, uh, which, which school? Uh, let, me, let me 